guys, my name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm filming a video with my sister because we are on vacation in Cancun right now. So I decided to put our minds together and film a what they didn't tell you about college video. We came up with a few um, topics or more than a few topics that we thought we would have liked to be warned about or told about before going into college. Um, some of these things we just came across it's just every day you're gonna be dealt with life situations. Um, and for everyone it's different, but these are just some things that we noticed in college. I've been in college, well I'm graduating this week, but I've been in college for four years and she just finished her first year. Yep. The first one is that friends do not come to you. You have to put forth effort into making friends because trust me, it's not super easy to make friends. Obviously everyone's in the same boat as you, so if you take advantage of that, it will be easy to make friends. This is something that I told Sonali because I'm really outgoing, but she wasn't as much in high school. Um, and it's something that's really true because when you look at it in college, even if you're going to college where you know everyone or you know no one, yeah. you wanna make more friends than the ones you had in high school just because you're branching out, you're networking. Yeah. You don't think about it, but like the friends you make in college can be going places where you might have a connection to later in life. That's true. So just saying hi or just seeing someone sitting by themselves and sitting with them and be like, hey, yeah. is a seat taken? Can I sit next to you? Mm -hmm. And just start talking to them like a normal person. Yeah. Ask them how their day is. Ask them if they think they're gonna like this class. It's yeah. not really hard. But if you overthink it, you just get really yeah, nervous. So true. Okay, so another thing we noticed a lot is that some of our friends and us too got really homesick. Mm -hmm. The difference is we couldn't necessarily go home because we're from out of state. Yeah. We, she goes to USF, I go to FSU if you didn't know. Mm -hmm. um, but the friends that did go home a lot, we saw that they missed out on so many campus opportunities. And opportunities to bond with people. Like a lot of my friends kind of lived really close to home, like two hours or one hour away from home. So they would just go home whenever they wanted to. I would just recommend not going home as much as you want to because you will be missing out on so much going on at your college campus. Next is you're gonna have to become independent so fast. She was already independent but for me I was so dependent on my parents and I always had them do like everything for me like get my car checked do this do that like pay my bills our parents make us budget everything which is really nice and I'll learn a lot from it but obviously it was kind of hard at first it's gonna be hard but you just have to push through it another thing to add is you can be independent but still call your parents there's yeah. nothing wrong with calling your parents yeah. there's nothing wrong with calling your mom if you need help or calling your grandmother or whoever is there for you um the the main thing about being independent is just not having to rely on them for every little thing mm -hmm. so kind of going off on the whole independent thing i never really made my own food at home nor did my own laundry so it was really hard coming to college because I was just like thrown into this world where I had to do everything on my own. Sometimes I even forgot to eat because like the food wouldn't be right in my face, you know what I mean? So like first of all, don't starve yourself and don't be so lazy like you don't want to walk to the dining hall or something, you need to eat. And laundry is not that hard, it's actually kind of fun. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's kind um, of fun. I'm a nerd so I have to study a lot and when I'd go into the laundry room mm -hmm. that would be my little breaks from studying my freshman year because I was overly nerdy my freshman year. <laughs> One tip for the laundry room is literally go to the bank and get so many quarters. Like I have run out so many times and it was not fun because on campus there's not a place to get quarters unless you're like getting change back but it's really highly unlikely and you have to walk really far. Okay, so the biggest thing is you're going to get sick. Even if you think you have a steel immune system, like our mom who eats fruits every day and she's like, I never get sick. You will get sick in college. Yeah. Um, whether it's because the dorms are not the cleanest, they're pretty moldy. I lived in Kellum at FSU. Um, but I had walking- Did you get like pneumonia? I had walking pneumonia my first week of freshman year. Yeah. I also lost my phone in Walmart. That's a different story. <laughs> so I was that freshman who like had a physical map and was like hardcore, oh really embarrassing, like coughing, <laughs> trying to find my classes. Oh my God. I would recommend that everyone have at least a thermometer um, some type of allergy medicine because you don't know if you're allergic to mold until you deal with mold. Yeah. Um, and then also have just Robitussin or some cough medicine. Don't take cough medicine all the time, but when you need to, it's there for you and you don't have to walk to your nearest Walgreens or CVS. True. 
There's gonna be so many opportunities and you need to take them. There are a lot of internship opportunities and joining clubs and organization and especially networking opportunities and you really need to like go to these events because you never know who you might meet. Even the cheesy ones like grab a pizza with your counselor yeah. or um, like karaoke in your union. It's still fun, you still get to know people and you know, sometimes those are the best kind of ways. You're gonna need a planner or some sort of app um, just to make sure you're on top of things. Um, you don't have your parents to tell you to go to class. You don't have your um, teachers telling your parents that you're not going to class. You can skip if you want to, but I don't recommend <laughs> yeah. it because in the end of the day, what your teacher says in class, they don't have to repeat themselves. I love the app Tiny Cow. It is amazing. You can like literally plan your whole day out. And the app Todoist, you can like set little reminders for yourself and make like a to-do list for the day. Once you know when the homework assignment is due, you really need to send an alarm because you're probably going to forget. Not every professor is super nice and they're not gonna remind you a hundred times through email. So I definitely recommend setting alarms. Freshman 15 is not a joke. Like some people will gain a little more than that. Some people will like gain a little less than that, but most likely you're probably gonna gain a little weight. It just happens and honestly, yes, there is things you can do about it to make healthier options, but if you want to avoid it, just keep in mind how much you're eating and maybe like eat smaller portions because when you're in the dining hall, you probably want to take like five pizzas and eat them all, but like just eat like that Extra one ranch. slice. <laughs> yeah, one slice of pizza, you know, get like a sandwich or something, but don't overeat and don't binge eat just because you're like bored or like studying or something like that. I think that's my biggest problem. Um, I <laughs> suffered major college weight gain um but i think the thing is also when you're dealing with all these new things that are happening if you if you gain weight if you have a new acne problem or a new skin problem mm -hmm. um you can deal with the problem but try not to beat yourself up about it because yeah. it happens to everyone yeah um make sure you love yourself and you love your body i know it's, it's really cliche and it's hard to do sometimes because yeah. you're like oh i'm so ugly oh look at this triple chin <laughs> what's going on but at the end of the day yeah. no one's noticing your flaws and no one's as big a critic as Yourself. you are yeah. um, and I think that when you when you see all the good in you you don't realize all the bad things and when you're positive about your body it's easier to make little changes mm -hmm. and to work your way into getting on a better pace That's than true. when you're hating your body okay so one of my biggest pet peeves is when people put hashtag broke college kid I problems <laughs> Yeah, um, just because I think there's a lot of people who are very lucky. Um, we're very lucky to even be going to college to have our yeah. unlimited meal plan. Um, we are not your definition broke kid problems. But at the same time, when you're given a certain amount of money, yeah. you need to be able to budget it. Yeah. Because um, when you're budgeting your money, you can set aside, I'm going to spend this much money for food. I'm going to spend this much money for... Um, extra things. You just have to make sure that you budget out your money properly um, and then you won't be a broke broke college kid yeah. to your standpoint anymore because when you're budgeting out your money you can set aside I'm gonna spend this much money for food and mm -hmm. I'm gonna spend this much money for shopping and then in the end of the day you'll have 50 extra bucks and be like you know what I'm gonna go out with my friends and treat yourself. Treat <laughs> yourself. <laughs> That's a better hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot get away with studying the night before like I used to in high school like I was that girl but in college like you cannot do it because college tests are like hard AF. And honestly, nothing is gonna get easier, so. Retweet. So don't start off lazy because then you're just gonna get lazier. It's true. I mean, you can always find a way to try to pick your pace back up again, mm -hmm. but your GPA starts with freshman year. Yeah. So many people think, I'm just gonna have fun freshman year and then fix it later. Yeah. But if you start off with a strong GPA, that's gonna help you so much later. You get a lot of free things in college, but I think it's important to know what you need and what you don't need mm -hmm. because I came back from unpacking and oh I have... God a whole living room worth of stuff that I have never touched ever. So just make sure you're not greedy with all your free things. Free food is always good. Free music, yeah, why not? But free koozies when you have 12 already, oh my God. you don't need them, no. you really don't. 
not keychains, not koozies, not shirts. Like, pick the good shirts, but like, don't get like the really every single shirt. I have ones. five Amazon t-shirts. Amazon. Yeah, I I don't know why, but <laughs> I have five Amazon t-shirts. Pick the ones that you will actually use because everything else is just gonna sit around and be clutter in your room, and you probably don't even have that much space in your dorm. So you really don't. If you have a meal plan, use it. That will save you so much money because I personally have a sorority meal plan and the first semester I would buy groceries on top of paying for my sorority meal plan and that was just not smart of me. First of all, a lot of food would go to waste because I wouldn't really eat that much of the food that I bought. And second of all, it was just so much more money that I did not need to spend. Yeah, I'm very guilty of wanting the easy way. So even though I had a meal plan, I would always go out to eat with friends and yeah. go out to eat wherever. Um, I think the biggest thing with this is, first of all, you're wasting money. And not only that, but you're eating way more calories. Yeah, that's true. Make sure you guys go out to your campus library to study. Um, I know it may seem like, oh, it's so far away. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna study in my room, mm -hmm. but you're gonna get really overwhelmed when you're sitting in your bed. You're and gonna you're feel trapped in your room. Like you're trapped, gonna start tired, to feel really sad and just like lonely. And overwhelmed. You overwhelmed, you're, you need to get out of your room and like be surrounded by people. Who are but, studying too, because yeah. that makes you more motivated to get shit done. For safety reasons, you should always share your location with at least one friend because there could be like an emergency for some reason, or there could be some jerk that steals your phone at a bar, didn't happen to me or anything. Um, not only that, but make sure you have a buddy system wherever you go out. Like even if you're just walking from the library to your dorm, mm. um, make sure you're always walking with someone else or you get um, campus security to walk you just mm. because it's not, it's scary at night. <laughs> it's it's not only scary at night, but we live in a very different world now. My yeah. freshman year, I used to think I could walk around campus all the time. And recently there's been signs of attempted abductions and that's not yeah that's pretty scary oh, so okay. <laughs> i want to make sure all my friends are safe and if yeah. they ever needed a ride i would offer it to them and i hope they would do the same for me the best thing about college is you can bump into class if you want to mm -hmm. um people even wear pajamas and there's like no dress code so you can really wear whatever you want i mean obviously don't show like your whole butt and boobs but other than that like you're good to go I would just recommend that knowing your professors and knowing who you're dressing for. If you're meeting your friends on campus, yeah, you can wear pajamas, yeah. but if you're going to office hours where you wanted to show your teacher you care, maybe dress up a little nicer. It's okay to cry because trust me, I have done it like almost at least once a week. I'm a big crier. <laughs> but if you feel overwhelmed or stressed, it is not a big deal if you cry. Like, let it out and then you'll feel a lot better, trust me. I used to think that I used to have to be tough for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I'm that kind of friend who everyone could talk to me about their problems, but I didn't want to talk to anyone else. Yeah. If you feel like you're one of those people, I highly suggest going to the counselors. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a severe problem to go to the counselors. Mm -hmm. They're there for you and most for of the anything. time, <laughs> for anything, and most of the time your first couple of visits are free. Mm -hmm. I would highly recommend doing that because sometimes you you need to vent about something going on whether it's stupid or not mm -hmm. they're gonna be there to listen and they won't judge you and the last biggest point that I have learned within my four years is don't judge other people um, that you meet in college yeah everyone's gonna be on their different path everyone's gonna be maturing differently and on different levels mm -hmm. um, as long as what they're doing is making them happy isn't hurting them or isn't hurting other people yeah you know, just let them live their life. If, if sure. let's say someone, if you're in Greek life, if you're not in Greek life, everyone has different opportunities that are gonna come their way. Mm -hmm. Just as long as they're happy, let them do what they want. It's such an amazing culture shock, I would say, coming from high school and transitioning into college because especially for me with my whole YouTube thing, I was kind of judged in high school. I mean, obviously it's kind of weird talking to a camera, I get it, but like in college, everyone is so supportive. Like everyone thought it was so cool. And it's just like so nice to have like everyone have such an open mind about like, 
what you like to do. And I would just say surround yourself with people that support you and don't tear you down because that is gonna make you thrive in college. Um, if you have friends that you are so close to in the beginning and they start fading away or you know your lives just keep getting busier, it's mm -hmm. okay to let that happen. Yeah. Um, but as long as they're not hurting you, you can always be their friend. If they start causing more drama than you need, mm -hmm. it's okay to cut off friendships that you once have. It happens. So that's it of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and kind of got some warnings about college. I mean, college is awesome. It's so fun. Don't be too scared about all the things we threw at you. Yeah. It's gonna be your own story. Um, you're gonna have a completely different or similar college experience. We just wanted to give you a few pointers so that we just help make the process of transitioning a little easier and yep. so that you can relax a little bit more. Absolutely. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.